In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on February 9, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Vancouver Canucks vs. New York Islanders The Vancouver Canucks face the New York Islanders with both teams heading in opposite directions to start the second half of the season. The Canucks have a 20-27-4 record and are near the bottom of the Pacific Division. The Islanders have a 27-22-5 record and with four wins in a row have leaped into the middle of the Metropolitan Division. Both teams are looking to improve in their divisions and the upcoming game looks to be a good one as a result. The Vancouver Canucks are averaging 3.3 goals per game and are scoring on 22.8% of their power play opportunities. Andre Kuzmenko leads Vancouver with 22 goals, Quinn Hughes has 40 assists, and Elias Pettersson has 159 shots on goal. Defensively, the Vancouver Canucks are allowing 3.9 goals per game and are killing 65.5% of their opponent's power plays. Adger Demko has given up 56 goals on 479 shots faced, and Spencer Martin has allowed 98 goals on 784 shots. The New York Islanders are averaging 2.8 goals per game and are scoring on 15.9% of their power play opportunities. Brock Nelson leads New York with 19 goals, Matthew Barzell has 32 assists, and Anders Lee has 143 shots on goal. Defensively, the New York Islanders are allowing 2.7 goals per game and are killing 83.2% of their opponent's power plays. Ilya Sorokin has given up 86 goals on 1,156 shots faced, and Semyon Varlamov has allowed 43 goals on 536 shots. The Canucks are 1-8 in their last 9 road games and 4-12 in their last 16 overall. The Islanders are 1-6 in their last 7 Thursday games and 4 to 0 in their last 4 overall. The over is 2 to 0 to 2 in Canucks last 4 overall. The under is 15 to 5 to 2 in Islanders last 22 overall. The favorite is 9 to 2 in the last 11 meetings. The road team is 5 to 1 in the last 6 meetings. The Islanders are the significantly better team in this game and I give them a huge edge defensively. They won the first game between these teams this season easily, beating the Canucks 6 to 2 on the road in Vancouver last month. I expect a similar result in this game. New York's been incredible defensively, allowing just the fifth fewest goals in the NHL this season with a likely Vezina candidate and goal in Ilya Sorokin. I expect them to shut down the Canucks' offense tonight with Vancouver in the second half of a back-to-back. -back. Vancouver has been one of the worst defensive teams in the NHL this season and I expect the Isles to be able to score at will, easily against them. Additionally, I expect a lot of emotion from Bo Horvat in this matchup against his former team and think he contributes significantly. The Vancouver Canucks are in terrible form at the moment, and playing on the end of a back-to-back -back doesn't help. The New York Islanders look like a team that's starting to find their form over the last week or so, and they should have the edge here with the rest advantage. The Islanders' defense will grind down tired legs, so the New York Islanders to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The first game between these teams this season flew over with eight total goals. I'd expect a similar result again tonight. Canucks games have been easy winners on overs this season with decent offense and some of the worst defense in the NHL, with the over going 31-17-3 in their games this season. I expect the Islanders to be able to score easily tonight, especially with the added fatigue of the Canucks in the second half of a back-to-back. -back. Vancouver's been decent offensively and I think they should be able to contribute with a few goals of their own to put this game over the total. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Vegas Golden Knights vs. Minnesota Wild Tonight we have what should be a fun matchup in the Western Conference between two playoff teams, the Vegas Golden Knights and the Minnesota Wild. Both of these defensive-minded teams have played well this season but haven't been great lately, which should set up for a grind of a game. Vegas comes into this game with a 30-18-4 record overall and they are coming off a win in the last game. Vegas scored five goals against Nashville on Tuesday and that was enough to win by four goals. Chandler Stephenson finished with one goal and one 
one assist. Vegas is averaging 3.11 goals while their defense is giving up 2.85 goals per game. The offense is ranked 17th in the league while the defense is ranked 12th. Chandler Stephenson has scored 12 goals and added 34 assists. On the other side of this matchup is the Wild who sit with a 27-18-4 record overall and they have gone 15-8-1 at home. On Monday against the Arizona Coyotes, the Wild really struggled and ended up losing 3-2. Jonas Brodin scored a goal but the rest of the team didn't do enough. Minnesota is averaging 3.04 goals while their defense is giving up 2.84 goals per game. The offense is ranked 20th while the defense is ranked 11th. Kirill Kaprizov has scored 28 goals and added 32 assists. The Golden Knights are 1-4 in their last 5 road games and 1-4 in their last 5 overall. The Wild are 67-27 in their last 94 home games and 9-2 in their last 11 games playing on 0 days rest. The under is 4-0-1 in Golden Knights last 5 overall. The under is 4-0 in Wild last four overall. The home team is 5-0 in the last five meetings. The Golden Knights looked terrific in their first game following the All-Star break, winning in dominating fashion over the Predators in Nashville. On the other hand, the Wild have looked rough, dropping two straight games to the Coyotes and Stars. Now the Wild have to travel home to face the Golden Knights on the second night of a back-to-back -back on Thursday night, which will also be their third game in four nights. Las Vegas has continued to pick up wins despite the multitude of injuries that they have dealt with this season. They most recently lost Captain Mark Stone to back surgery, but it hasn't slowed them down and they look terrific in their game against Nashville. They have a great chance to pour on the goals against a Minnesota team that will be playing their second game in as many nights as well as their third game in the past four days. The Wild have been great defensively this season, ranking third in expected goals against per 60 minutes, but fatigue could be a major issue for them in this game on that end of the ice against a stacked Vegas lineup. The main issue for the Wild this season has been scoring the puck, as they currently rank 24th in expected goals for per 60 minutes. They've only mustered a combined three goals in their past two games following the All-Star break, and now face their toughest test yet against the Golden Knights who rank right behind the Wild at fourth in expected goals against per 60 minutes. The Vegas Golden Knights aren't playing well at the moment, and those issues usually don't fix themselves on the road. The Minnesota Wild have been one of the best home teams in the league dating back to last year, and they've had no trouble winning on the end of back-to-backs. Therefore, look for the visitors to overpower a struggling and fatigued Wild team on Thursday night. So the Vegas Golden Knights' money line is our full game side pick. I'm expecting a great defensive battle between two teams that have relied on their solid play on the back end to win. Both of these teams have trended under this season, with the under going 29-19-4 in Golden Knights games this year and 25-21-4 in Wild games. These teams have both been top 12 in the NHL defensively, neither giving up many expected goals or high-danger shots. They've also both struggled a bit offensively, especially recently. I expect those trends to continue, which lines up perfectly to bet the under. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.